Hello everyone. I'll be talking about um, exercise two. This is lines and uh, line weights, part two, and this is sheet number three. So, as always, create a border with your triangle and your straight edge, whether it's a parallel line like mine or your T square. Nice and crisp lines, and I'm going to take these away for now. You're going to have your border, and we're going to create these, these diamonds using the border. First step we're going to do is we're going to create an X from corner to corner, corner to corner, and then where they meet, we're going to create a light vertical line and then a light horizontal line. I happen to have um, a big triangle here that I'm going to be using. You could use your T-square, or if you have a long straight edge, has to be continuous line, light. I like to hold my pencil lead there down there, connect it here, spin that pencil, light line in that direction. We have to be fairly accurate here. There's my X. You can see that. Now I'm going to create a vertical line and a horizontal line. I'll create my vertical line first. If your light guidelines go off the paper, that's okay. There's my vertical line and let me do my horizontal line. You want them to all meet there in that center. Kind of important. That looks pretty good. So there's my setup. Corner to corner, corner to corner, vertical, horizontal. So we're going to create a diamond, as many diamonds as we can. They're going to get smaller. So we're going to just basically now here, we're going to connect the dots, but sort of this exercise is, you know, you're, you're, you're pointing, you're, you're pointing your, your triangle, laying it down, I should say, um, in the spots where the lines cross. So I'm going to do this first one here. And I'm going to... You have to hold the triangle down, keep in mind. I'm going to, it's going to be like a medium line weight line for all these lines. Make sure you hold the triangle down. If you don't, it's going to slip. Right, you gotta go from point to point. Hold that triangle down. Get up over it. Spin that pencil. Make sure you're you're going to the points, point to point, right? This other side. Spinning the pencil down here. point to point, and you'll see that my first diamond will be completed. Let me spin this pencil. So there's my first diamond. Now what's nice about this X is we're going to be drawing, you know, another border, so to speak, but these light lines are almost a check because we're going to be drawing a rectangle here where these lines connect, these light lines. So I'll just go at it. It's almost like we're drawing another border, but smaller. So when I go horizontal, those lines should meet here, right, the corners, and they do checks out. So there's my rectangle here. Here it is at the bottom, right? So now what do we do? Can you guess? Sharpen my pencil. We're going to create another diamond, right? So what we're doing is setting up this repetitive pattern. Now, if you guess the next diamond is going to start here, you're, you're right. 
because we're gonna go from there to there, there to there, and create another diamond, which I'll do right now. Making sure that I'm on these points here, spinning the pencil. You have to be sort of precise here now. You know, if you're if you think you had messed up, you can just start another sheet, right? It's okay. Here's my second diamond, and then what am I gonna do again? I'm gonna draw a rectangle here. And the rectangle should meet up with these light guidelines that I did way at the beginning, right? And they do. Let me draw this bottom one. You might have to stop and sharpen your pencil, and that's okay. Let's do the verticals here. Okay. I'll sharpen my pencil, but you can see what's going on. That diamond is going to get smaller and smaller, right? Like I said, I will, and all these, I'll stop here after this one and I'll complete it and post it, but you can see what's going on. The diamond will get smaller. as you progress. Keep it in mind, again, neatness and the consistency of the line, right? And then another rectangle from there to there, over. And that's this exercise. This, this diamond pattern on your on your sheet, and the diamonds will get smaller until you know you can't work in there anymore, and then you can stop.